Good morning, kiddos. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back. Hope you had a nice weekend. Um, Three-day week this week because you guys were off yesterday. And then you are off on Friday and Monday for Memorial Day weekend. Um, So we just got a couple of things we got to get done this week. Um, But we are really nearing the end of school here, which is kind of wild. So I just have a little bit of stuff to give you today. Really not much because this is a kind of a review topic for us. It's something we've talked about a lot. But so just follow along really quickly and then you'll have your own assignment. So our I can statement today is I can read for symbolism to understand there is more meaning in a text. So symbolism is something we have come back to time and time again. You guys are experts at this. So just a quick review, what is symbolism? So your curriculum says it's something small that can stand for something larger than itself. We as different classes all have kind of come up with the definition that it's an object that has a deeper meaning. Right? It's an object that looks like one thing but deeper down represents another. And this is something that we have talked about again and again. So in poetry, there is tons of symbolism. And I'm sure you're not surprised by this because this is something that we've, you know, this figurative language is something that we've worked with before. Um, But because poems are typically short, every detail is usually doing some sort of symbolism work and carrying a meaning that is deeper than what it seems, right? So your assignment today is going to be to look for some symbolism, and that should be a pretty easy thing to do, right? Because every detail is usually doing some sort of work because poems are small and they're trying to pack a big punch in a small um, poem. So remember that when something repeats, this is when we often see symbolism coming through, right? Authors do everything on purpose. So if you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again, usually there is some type of symbol there. So let's let's do a little bit of practicing. So we're going to read on Turning 10 by Billy Collins. I'm going to read it to you and then we'll talk about the questions. The whole idea of it makes me feel like I'm coming down with something. Something worse than any stomach ache or the headaches I get from reading in bad light. A kind of measles of the spirit. A mumps of the psyche, a disfiguring chickenpox of the soul. You tell me it's too early to be looking back, but that is because you have forgotten the perfect simplicity of being one and the beautiful complexity introduced by two. And but I can lie on my bed and remember every digit. At four, I was an Arbanian wizard. I could make myself invisible by drinking a glass of milk a certain way. At seven, I was a soldier. At nine, a prince. But now, I am mostly at the window, watching the late afternoon light. Back when it never felt so solemnly against the side of my treehouse. Fell, I'm sorry. Back when it never fell so solemnly against the side of my treehouse. And my bicycle never leaned against the garage, as it does today. All the dark blue speed drained out of it. This is the beginning of sadness, I say to myself, as I walk through the universe in my sneakers. It is time to say goodbye to my imaginary friends, time to turn the first big number. It seems only yesterday I used to believe there was nothing under my skin but light. If you cut me, I would shine. But now, if I fall upon the sidewalks of life, I skin my knees and I bleed. So, um... I like this poem because it, in my opinion, feels a little dramatic, right? It's called Turning 10. Like, he is for sure still a child. Um, But there's some really good symbolism and some deeper meaning stuff here. So I started by answering what is the symbol in this poem and what does the image, um, what do these images remind us of? So I chose, and guys, there's lots of different things you can choose, right? Because there is tons of symbolism in poetry, but I chose his old toys, right? So if we look down here... um, his tree house was what I picked, his bicycle, he kind of talks, oh, sorry, it's your CPR question, he kind of talks about um, his imaginary friends right here, right, those are kind of the toys I was talking about, so his always old toys seem to be a symbol to me, it was something he kept repeating, um, it reminds me of getting older and growing out of per- certain parts of my life, right, like growing out of my imaginary friends as I, as I aged. The second question I want you guys to answer today is what does the symbol represent? What does it seem to stand for in the world? Opinion, guys, as long as you're giving me some effort, lovely. So I think the toys represent his desire to stay young and not outgrow those certain toys. I think they represent his youth. And when he says goodbye to them, he's saying goodbye to his childhood, which he isn't ready to do. 
So again, this is what I think the toy symbol is. You may think something totally different. And when I go to look at your notes in your poetry packet, you know, tomorrow or the next day when I go to um, grade these, all I'm looking for is effort, right? I'm looking for you really tried to pick a symbol and think about what might this mean other than its literal meaning. And the last part I said is, how do you know what is the evidence, right? How do I know the toys represent his desire to stay young? And I said, I know this because the author talks about giving up these toys. He says the beginning of sadness. He talks about how he used to fall and get back up. But now if he falls, life cuts him. He's talking about getting older and accepting the responsibilities that come with age. Right? So this is the beginning of sadness, I say to myself. Um... He's saying, right, that now if he's falling, he's skinning his knees. He's bleeding instead of thinking that he's shining. So kind of growing out of that childhood mindset and becoming more of an adult. And that's kind of my my evidence for why I think the toys represent him growing up. So your task today is in your poetry packet, and I want you to answer the following questions. Same ones I just answered. What item is a symbol in this poem? Have, what do these images remind us of? What does the symbol represent? What does it seem to stand for in the world? These are kind of the same questions. So if you want to just answer it once, that's totally fine. And then how do you know what is the evidence? Again, you know, same questions. You can answer that just once. Um, but so I just want you to pick a poem in your poetry pack. It can be anyone that you'd like. And I want you to look for some sort of symbolism. Okay. If you're having trouble finding it, I would recommend finding another poem, right? Like if you're really struggling to find a piece of symbolism, abandon that poem and find another one because there is lots of symbolism in poetry and you will find another poem that has some sort of symbolism. So that would kind of be my recommendation. Um, I will be on office hours from 9 to 10 and then from 12.30 to 1.30. So if you have questions, feel free to hop on. Um, but I can't wait to read what you guys come up with. Have a lovely day, guys.